Hi, I'm Rick Wright, a career specialist with the Career Center, which is a free service of East Baton Rouge Parish Library. And in this video, we will show you how to apply for a job online with Benny's Car Wash. First, let me share my screen. I want to begin by showing you the Career Center website, which is careercenterbr.com that has a wealth of resources to help you with your career, or especially with your job search, such as resume templates and sample cover letters, and also job search websites. When you are ready, click in the address bar and type bennyscarwash.com and hit enter. Let me take myself out of the picture. Whenever you apply for a job with a business or company, go to their website. And usually the way you apply for a job is towards the bottom of their home page. And that is also the case for Benny. So click on the gray bar and drag it all the way down to the bottom. And what you're looking for is a link that says jobs or careers. And there it is right at the very bottom, careers. Click on that. Now this part is just a little confusing. You wonder what to do next because at first there's a list of bullet points. Why are crew stays? Why do people continue to work for Benny's? And what are some of the benefits that they offer? You can take a couple moments to look at these. These are genuinely interesting. Uh, wow, business reports to 2019, one of the best places to work in Baton Rouge. That's wonderful. But when you're ready, what you want to do is click on available positions. Scroll down a little bit. This part is a little confusing, but I've done two practice run throughs so I know how this works. What the next page lists are positions that are available with Benny's at different locations in and around Baton Rouge. Don't worry about exactly where, which store, you'll have a chance to choose that later in the application. But for now, look through the list of different positions they offer, such as car wash attendant, retail clerk, hmm, service advisor, lube technician, interesting. For the purposes of this video, we're going to demonstrate how to apply for a job online with the position for car wash attendant. You can click on car wash attendant or on the button that says apply now. All right, the next page provides a job description of car wash attendant, what the pay scale is, this is important, and what your duties are and what the qualifications are. I'm not gonna read through all of this, but we encourage you to take a few moments to work through, this is what you would do if they hire you, and this is what the qualifications will be for you to apply. There's a button at the bottom or at the top that says apply for, your, for this position. So click on that. Okay. The way to apply for a job online with Benny's is a little different from a lot of the other online job applications we've seen. It's actually one long web page, although followed by a couple more web pages. Pay attention to the boxes that say required, such as first name required. That means you have to answer or you have to provide information in that box. For the purposes of this video, we are going to use a fictitious person who is Jane Public. You use your name, your contact information, and your work history so in the first box, we're going to type Jane. And as you type your naming information, use perfect spelling and punctuation. So capital J, A-N-E. You can click on the next box. I'll teach you a quick trick, which is simply hit tab, and that takes you to the next box. Jane Public with a capital P. What is Jane's email address? This is a real email address for a fictitious person. You use your email address. Phone, this is required. You use your phone number for the purposes of this video, we're gonna use the Career Center's phone number. Address. 
Jane lives at 4321. City, required, capital B, capital R, perfect punctuation and spelling. State, required, this is a little different. You think you're gonna click in the box and type Louisiana or LA, but you see this little down pointing arrow that means it's a, what we call a drop down menu that gives you a list of choices. You choose the one that is correct for you. So click, we have a list of states ranging from Armed Forces Americas down to Wyoming. And we're gonna click on Louisiana. Zip code, this is required. This is Jane's real zip code, although she's a fictitious person. Country required. There's a drop down menu, but notice that by default, it already says United States. So you don't have to do anything. Contact preference. Do you want them to contact you via email or SMS? In other words, text messages. Um, whatever you prefer. Some people prefer the text messages, but be ready for that. And also, if you click on email, Make sure that you check your email at least once a day to see if you hear back from them. Links and uploads. These are not required. Do you have a resume? And it has to be in Word or PDF format. And the way you do it, the way to attach your resume is you click on this box. And this shows the file system of the computer or the laptop that you're working on and you navigate to where you have your resume. In this case, I put it on the desktop, resume for Jane Q Public, click, and then you click on open. I'm not going to do that, but you can. In fact, later in the application, they will strongly urge you to do so. Cover letter, again, it's optional, but we have a cover letter for Jane, intended for Benny's, click, and open. Later in the application, again, they will strongly encourage you to provide a cover letter. And remember, there are resume templates and there are sample cover letters on the Career Center website. Any additional files, <clears throat> letters of recommendation, samples of your work, additional information. Are you a previous or current Benny's or be quick employee? It's required. Jane is not. But if you are, if you have been, you click on yes. Although they don't ask you exactly which location. If you were referred by a Benny's employee, please list their name. Jane was not. What is your preferred location? This is required. All locations may not have a current open position. That's important. So if you're applying for car wash attendant, you can click on the stores where you would like to work. Perhaps it's easy for you to get to, not too far from your home. But they warn you that some of them, they may not be hiring for that position right now. Well, Jane is interested in the Perkins, Segan, Essen, and Lee locations. When can you start? Required. Ah, this is a little confusing to a lot of people. You can't simply type the date Rather, you click on the box and there's a pop-up calendar. And this is where you can click on the day when you're ready to start. Now today, making this video, it's October 7th. You can click on that and say, hey, I can start today. Or maybe you say, well, let me get through the weekend. I can start on the 11th or perhaps another week, the 18th. Let's click on the 11th. You click on the date when you can start working if they hire you. Are you looking for part-time or full-time work, which is 30 or 30 or more hours per week with Benny's Car Wash? You can click on one or both. Jane would prefer full-time, but Jane is willing to work part-time. Please briefly describe your availability. Now, some websites, there's boxes and check marks where you indicate when you are available to work. Here, they want you to type it out which is interesting. Again, use perfect spelling and punctuation. Jane is willing, is available to work. Doesn't mean they're gonna schedule for all of those hours, but you are letting them know if they schedule you for the hours you provide, you can say, yep, I can do it, I will be there. 
Now, this is supplemental, but it is required. Are you willing to work evenings to close? I don't know when Benny closes. Are you willing to work weekends, holidays, or none of the above? Click on when you are willing to work or none of the above. We're gonna leave it as weekends and holidays. Are you willing and able to comply with your, our uniform and appearance policy guidelines, such as having tr traditional color and styled hair, no visible tattoos, not wearing facial piercings, and a clean shaven face? That is interesting. It's required. Jane, yes. Which best describes your level of customer service experience? Again, required. Well, Jane does have some experience doing customer service. She has one to three years. You click on the one that is true for you. Do you have reliable transportation? Yes. Are you at least 16? Yes. Are you at least 18? Jane is, but perhaps you are 17. So you would say, yes, I'm at least 16, but I'm not at least 18. Highest level of education completed. Now, Jane has graduated from high school and has a bachelor's degree from a university. Do you click on the ones that are true for you? Perhaps, hey, I'm still in high school or I graduated from high school but did not finish a bachelor's degree. Whatever is true for you. Are you a current student? Jane is not, but if you are, that's okay. And your hours of availability would be a little different. Jane is not a current student. Have you served in the military? Jane has not. If you click on yes, they don't ask for details. Please list any special qualifications, training, education, skills, or experience you, feels warrant, you feel warrants consideration by the company. Well, Jane has... Are you comfortable lifting heavy objects greater than 25 pounds? This is required. Yes, Jane can lift 25 pounds. Please enter your employment history. Now, fictitious Jane is going to provide a fictitious work history, but you provide your true work history. First, company name, this is required. Jane worked for high tech. She was a machinist. Duties, this is where you explain what you do or what you did if it was a job in the past. Jane worked. Reason for leaving, this is not required. If you choose to answer, it is important that you never put a negative reason. You do not say, I couldn't stand my boss or I don't like working hard. You want reasons that preferably are positive or at the very least neutral, such as I needed another job with better hours or better pay. Dates of employment. When did Jane work for high tech? Again, see the little calendar? You click in the box and there's the pop-up calendar. Jane worked for high tech from November, 2015. Now, how do we get to 2015? You can go click, click, click to work all the way back, but see the little down arrow next to 2021? Click on that. There's a list of dates. Hmm. Click on the down arrow to get to 2015. 2015, the month. Click next to the month, uh, December, sorry, 2017. But which day of the month? And this is required. This is the hard part. Most people know which year, usually which month, but which day, that's difficult. Try to be as close to what you think or remember the actual date is. Uh, think Jane started December 1st, end. Same thing. Salary wa wage. Please note, this is not required. And we recommend that you do not answer this question on applications. So we're going to leave that blank. Supervisor, may we contact your supervisor? Yes or no? The answer might be no. It might be somewhere you work right now and you don't want them to know that you are in the process of trying to find another job. In this case, yeah, sure, please go ahead. Jane's supervisor was Alexander Hamilton. 
and the title was Now, we haven't provided a lot of work history, just about three years worth. And how would you add more work history to help them consider you for this position? You click on this little plus button, add another position. If you made a mistake, and sometimes this happens, we've seen patrons do this. They say, oops, how do I get rid of this? You click on remove. But we want this. We want to let them know that Jane worked at... Have you ever been convicted of a crime other than a routine traffic violation? If yes, enter the date of conviction and explain. This is required. In this case, no. Are you willing and able to pass a comprehensive background check and drug screening? This is very normal. It is required. Yes, Jane is willing. Comments. I'm not sure what that would be. How did you hear about this job? This is required. Uh, most businesses and companies like to know, how did you hear about the job opening? To be honest, I found out about it because I drive by Benny's at least twice a day on my way to work and back. And it lists the company's website on a sign out front. So it doesn't say a sign or the store, but it does say company website. I think that's close enough. Keep scrolling down. Please review the following questions closely and answer accordingly. Benny's would like to work with qualified candidates through the work opportunity tax credit process. We're not gonna read through the whole thing, but nearly all, possibly all job applications ask questions because the business may get a tax credit if they hire you depending on your tax status. Have you received a conditional certification from the state workforce agency or participating local agency for the work opportunity credit? Jane has not, but if the answer is yes, click on yes. Do any of the following statements apply to you? I'm a member of a family that has received assistance from the temporary assistance for needy families for any nine months during the past 18 months. I am a veteran, member of a family that received, and so on. We're not going to read through all of this, but you read through it. Do any of these apply to you? In this case, no. Are you a veteran? You are unemployed for a period or periods totaling at least six months during the past year. Actually, Jane was, excuse me, Jane was not a veteran, although she was unemployed for at least six months last year. Are you a veteran entitled to compensation for a service-connected disability? Hmm. You were discharged or released from active duty in the U.S. Armed Forces during the past year. Jane was not. Are you a veteran entitled to compensation for a service-connected disability and you were unemployed for a period or periods totaling at least six months during the past year? Well, unemployed, yes, but veteran, no. So, no, you apply, you click on what is true for you. Have you or a member of your family received these payments for at least the past 18 months? Receive them for any 18 months beginning after August 5, 1997, the earliest 18th, oh boy, I won't read through, read through all of this, but you read through it and click on which applies for you, yes or no. In this case, no. Are you in a period of unemployment that is at least 27 consecutive weeks? And for all or part of that period, you received unemployment compensation. Actually, Jane, this is true for Jane. She's been unemployed since May 2020. Did you click on which is true for you? Subscribe. Please notify me of new opportunities as they are posted. Do you want to receive texts or emails from Benny's letting you know that they have some other job openings? Jane is going to say yes. She really needs to find work. And here's the job description, duties and qualifications at the bottom as a reminder. But when you're ready, click on submit application. And I know from the practice run throughs that we're not quite done. Ah, I remember this. It's strongly suggested that you include this file or you can say, no, no, let me 
submit my application without a cover letter. Let's go ahead and add the cover letter. Desktop cover letter for Benny's. Strongly suggested you include your resume, Word or PDF format. Resume, click and open. But they don't encourage you to attach other additional files. Now let's go back to the bottom. In fact, before we do that, go to the top and scroll through all the information you have provided to make sure that everything is accurate and correct, especially contact information and your work history. Submit application. Now, Benny's is an equal opportunity employer. And Benny's would like to invite you to fill out the following self-identification form. This is very standard. Gender identity, male, female, other, or I would rather not say. Jane does not mind saying she is female. Race or ethnicity, what is your race ethnicity? Please mark the one box that describes the race ethnicity category with which you primarily identify. Ranges from American Indian to not specified, I prefer not to answer. Jane does not mind saying that she is white. Continue scrolling down. Veteran status. Please indicate whether you are classified as a, as a protected veteran. And they explain what that means. Take a moment to read through them. If you believe you belong to any of the categories of protected veterans listed above, please indicate by checking the appropriate box below. Yes, I do identify. No, I am not a protected veteran. I choose not to self-identify. Jane is not a protected veteran and does not mind answering. Self-identification of disability. This is important. Because we do business with the government, we may be required to reach out to hire, provide equal opportunity to qualified people with disabilities. And to help us measure how well we are doing, we ask that you tell us if you have a disability or ever had a disability. This is voluntary. We hope you will choose to fill it out. Your answer will be kept private and will not be used against you in any way. That's good to know. So yes, I have a disability or a record of having one. No, or I'd rather not answer. Jane does not mind answering, no, I do not have a disability or a history record of having a disability. And federal law requires employers to provide reasonable accommodation to qualified individuals with disabilities. When you're ready, click on submit. And with that, we have finally finished our application. We've received your application for a position at Benny's Car Wash. Our hiring managers will review your application and we'll be contacting qualified applicants soon. Before we leave, are you interested in hearing about new opportunities at Benny's Car Wash in real time? Enter your email address to be notified automatically when new positions are posted. So if you click on, if you click in this box, Type your email address, your email address, not James, and then click on the arrow. Every time a new opening becomes available, you will receive an email. Be ready for that. Well, thank you very much for your interest and thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please smash that like button. You can also click on the subscribe button to follow more videos on our YouTube channel to help you with your career or your job search. And thank you.